Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this super cute set using the super pretty gold color from Model 1's and Model 1's monomer as well. And I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in my little package. So I'm super excited to show you and it turned out so freaking cute. And I'm going to also be showing you guys how I do the cuticle oil and top coat method so you can pop your nails off right after. And yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I am opening up my package here, and what I got were these um, little forms. This is basically a whole kit that's um, really good if you wanted to start doing nails on yourself, if you wanted to save some money or something like that, or if you were looking for a kit. Um, it does come with these this pack of forms, which was really good. It comes with this acrylic brush, which is super nice. It's a size 12, it says, and it did, did seem like really nice quality, and it actually felt like it was a Kalinsky brush so I would hope that it is because it's like pretty nice and it's, I think it's the perfect size to start off with um I really really liked it so it comes with that and then it also comes with this um model one slow sledding acrylic monomer it looks really really nice and this is what I'm going to be using today it also came with five acrylic colors and the first one is this really really beautiful gold you can just see how pretty it is. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and then I will show you guys here the size of another um, brand that I usually get. And showing you guys how these are these jars are pretty big. And they're honestly pretty nice. Um, for like a really nice quantity for the price of this whole kit. This whole entire kit is only $26. Which is absolutely, absolutely insane. Because you literally get the monomer, the whole entire brush, five colors, and the forms as well. And I was also telling you guys that the forms um, are what more, I guess you could say, advanced nail techs use. It's also what you, what you use when you're taking state board and things like that. So I did really like those just to have. And um, this color is a really, really nice blue. It looks almost like a periwinkle, but I am going to be swatching these for you guys in a second. And I really like the kit. I really think that it's a really good like quantity of items for the price like when I saw the price I was literally in shock so again it's only $26 which is super cool and everything in this video will be linked down below as well in case you guys are wondering but yeah so here I'm just grabbing my stuff to go ahead and swatch them for you guys
Okay, you guys, so I actually ended up getting my boyfriend to be a really good sport and he actually volunteered to be my little model for the day. So I got to do the set on him, which is really cool. So I'm starting off by just pushing back his cuticles with this uh, metal cuticle pusher and I am going to let you guys know right now I'm doing I'm using the cuticle oil and top coat method so that we can take the nails off super easily right after this is literally the perfect method if you want to practice on your significant other if they'll let you practice on them um if you want to practice on your mom your sister your cousin literally anybody that'll let you practice on them you can use this method and they can take the nails off right after with literally no damage on their natural nails so it's super amazing i really love doing it so i'm going to show you guys how i do it um right there i was just showing you guys my hand sanitizer because i'm going to be showing you guys as if this was a real client while still explaining um the method that i'm using if that makes sense so i'm using that cuticle remover that i just showed you guys i got it at my local nail supply a while back and i'm using that on his cuticles literally i don't do this on every person but you could do this on anyone that you want if you're using the, doing this on a client but if you just want to be nice to your family member that's letting you practice you can like get rid of all their dead skin so that's what i'm doing you dump it on the, the nail and make sure that it's not um that the, like the lid or the bottle doesn't touch the person's skin because that can be contamination. So what I did was drip it from above. And right here, warning, there's going to be a bunch of gunk coming out. I don't know if you guys care about that, but it's literally just dead skin. That's all it is. And it's honestly so satisfying. I love doing this on clients too because their nails will look completely clean. But they're literally not. Like if you guys don't already have cuticle remover for your like for you guys at home, even for yourself, if you want to do a pedicure on yourself, use it. Like it's gonna be so amazing and you're gonna really see all the dead skin and literally everything just come off. And it's amazing because I literally only let it sit for like a few seconds and it worked so well. Anyways, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick disclaimer before people start coming for me that I talk too much and I don't know what. So I am going to be talking because this is a tutorial so please bear with me you guys I love to talk and I really love showing you guys what I'm doing and telling you everything that I'm using. So right here I'm just taking some young nail swipe and I was basically telling you guys that if you put the cuticle remover on your normal client like if you want their nails to last clean their nails with swipe right after so that you don't get lifting. And then go up, go about your normal prep routine, you know, file their nails with your with your sanding band. Make sure it's super gentle. Make sure it's on a low speed and things like that. But for this method, I'm going to be taking the cuticle oil and rubbing it all over his nails. Um, I also, I don't know if you guys saw, but I tried to clean underneath the nails as well. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to take the cuticle oil and rub it in. This is the method so that you guys can practice or basically like do sets on other people, if that makes sense. So I'm taking my cuticle oil. I made a whole video about how I make my own cuticle oils in case you guys were wondering. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm getting a little paper towel and I'm rubbing it in. I could have used my finger, but I just didn't want to get my fingers all oily. But I suggest use your finger because it'll like moisturize into the skin instead of the paper towel absorbing it, if that makes any sense. Um, now I'm going in with the second layer of cuticle oil. I did want to say two layers of cuticle oil is more than enough. Like if you want to just do two, do only two and yeah, do this, like wipe some of it off because you are, you are still going to need to glue a nail tip onto the nail. Well, actually, no, I mean, you're going to have to put top coat on the nail. So you don't want your top coat to like peel off either. So you don't want too much cuticle oil, but you do want your nails to be oily for this method to work, you know? So um basically i'm taking this top coat make sure it's top coat and not base coat i cannot stress this enough do not use base coat because base coat can kind of make your nails like stick on there if that makes sense i've used base coat on accident before because i got my base coat and top coat mixed up and it was literally the worst because i wanted to take my nails off right after and it literally took me like a few hours to try and get them off and i was like ripping them off which is bad but if you use top coat the method will work perfectly and you can easily pop them off and there won't be any damage because the cuticle oil and the top coat create a barrier between the natural nail and the acrylic if that makes any sense so yeah okay you guys so once your first layer of top coat is cured go ahead and put it in the lamp for 60 seconds take it out and go ahead and do a second coat of top coat um Make sure, again, I'm just going to say it one more time, that you don't put too much cuticle oil 
before you're, you put your top coat on because I was having the issue. I don't know if I'll leave the clips in. I probably will just so that you guys can see. But um, the nails will kind of pop off if you put too much oil or too much top coat. I've had people tell me before, like when I tell them that I do this method, they say that they've tried it and that their nails pop off super easily. And that could be why you're probably using too much oil or too much layers of top coat. So two layers of top coat is like perfect. Probably even one if you're using a thick top coat. So it depends. If you're going to use like a really thin watery one, do two coats. If you're using like a really nice thick top coat, do only one coat. Um, here on his nails, I could have honestly just done one top coat layer and I would have probably been, I would have probably been perfectly fine. But the main thing for me is like um, go in with the cuticle oil, rub it in super good into your nail so that your nail's oily. But so that you can't like see droplets of oil. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, then I'm just touching it, making sure the cute, the cute, the top coat is dry. And here what I'm doing is I'm adding more top coat. That's completely optional. I kind of just add more because I get nervous and I'm like, oh my gosh, he'll literally kill me if these nails don't come off. <laughs> so I literally just add a little bit more for safe measure. But you know, us ladies, we are more, I guess you could say like less picky I guess so if you have to leave them on for like a few more minutes you we probably don't care you know what I mean but it just depends um and what I'm doing is I'm just wiping some of that oil off because again I don't want the droplets to be on there I just want it to be enough so that you can tell that there's like you know um that it's oily but we don't want the acrylic to adhere too good onto the nail so now I'm just taking my monomer and we're going to get started on the design and I'm going to grab my nail tips and I believe the nail tips I'm going to be using are um, the extra, extra long C-curve square, tapered square nail tips, I think, is what they're called. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I think I got them from Zule's Nail Shop. So that's where I got them from. Um, I really love her tips. I always get all my long tips from her site because she will literally start selling them as soon as like they come out. So as soon as I saw these tips, I got them from that website and I love her website. That's also where I get my bling adhesive. A lot of you guys always ask where I get my rhinestone glue and that's where I get it from. Um, so right here, I was just putting the nail tips on and I'm leaving them this length. I'm not cutting them at all. Um, his nails or his fingers are a little crooked. As you can see right now, his middle finger is like going to the right, which is hella funny because my middle finger is also crooked. But um, yeah, so I try to put them on as straight as I can. But yeah, he was also being kind of impatient. So I was like trying to kind of rush a little bit, but you know what, I, you know how it is. So anyway, um, I just go, went ahead. This nail tip was kind of coming off a tiny bit. So I went ahead and added a little bit more glue onto it and it didn't um, do anything. It didn't make the nail like stick on anymore or anything because the top coat's still uh, like there with the barrier, you know? So then I went ahead and just finished up and then grabbed this nail and I'm not going to be um, filing the sides of the tips or anything. I wanted them to just be like this again because I was kind of like trying to hurry up because you already know like if you have a, a husband or a boyfriend they get super impatient if you practice on them and he literally was like super nice about letting me practice but he also wanted me to like you know, he, I feel like they're not used to it. Like their hand gets tired so fast. And I was literally telling him, I was like, you wouldn't last a day, like being a woman, like we go through so much and you'll never get it. <laughs> like I was literally just like making fun of him because he was like complaining that his hand was getting cramped. And I was like, dude, you've been here for like five minutes. Like, oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm just rambling on but so now I'm taking my super pretty gold from model ones this is the same one that came in the kit um I love this gold this gold is literally the perfect gold color like it's not a yellow yellow gold I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about like those um golds that are a little just too yellow you know what I mean? This one's more of a champagne gold and it's so beautiful. I really loved it. So um, it's definitely one of my faves. And I am going to be adding some stuff from this whole kit to a giveaway that I'm planning and I'm just collecting stuff for. If you already watch my videos, you probably know um, about this giveaway that's coming up. I mentioned it in like another video. But yeah, so I am. it's coming soon. So just stay tuned for that. But I wanted to show you guys kind of how I lay my acrylic. So I take my brush um and I basically just go ahead 
and push it up to the cuticle area. I'm not using the brush in the kit just because I didn't want it to get damaged because I would rather give that to someone who's beginning than you know use it when I already have so many of them. So I didn't want to keep it for myself and like be selfish. So I'd rather give it to someone. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm using my own brush. I also wanted to take another color. Um, I know I had the blue and the purple, but again, I want to give some of this stuff away. So I didn't want to use everything. But I tried using this burnt orange color and like I loved it so much. But I was like, no, this is giving me too much like fall vibes. So I was like, I really want like summer vibes, spring vibes. And this color was just not doing it for me, even though it's absolutely stunning. I showed briefly what color it was, if you guys want to rewind it. But it's like so pretty. But I do end up going in with another color, trying to cover this color up. So yeah. Hey you guys, so now what I'm doing is I'm also going to repeat the same design on this finger that I did on the pinky. So basically what I'm trying to do is a little like um, glitter to clear ombre. I kind of want it to be like clear at the tip um, because I really love how that looks. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do. Um, I did want to note this monomer is slow setting so it's going to be a little more running and it's going to take a little bit longer to dry because I think it's meant for beginners like actually meant for beginner beginners because if you guys have been doing nails for a while you know that there's some um like speed I think they're called like speed monomer like I know young nails has like a speed speed acrylic line and stuff so I think it just depends on like the monomer that you use but I know some of them are for advanced nail techs and some are for beginners when you're a beginner you definitely want to have more time to work with your acrylic because you don't want to lay it in one spot and it like dry on you. You know what I mean? Especially if you're not um, used to picking up your beads yet and stuff. Because your nails will be a little more bumpy. So this um, monomer is definitely more runny and it's perfect if you're barely starting. And I did take that clearish color that I showed you guys in the swatches. And it has like a little bit of glitter. And I used it as a little bit of like a topper for the um, orange nail right here on the ring finger. I am going to be bedazzling this finger if you guys saw the intro, but I am going to be adding some diamonds on there. So that's why I left it blank. Right here, I wanted to go in with a cute little marble vibe. So I did take some of that orange and then some of the glitter and just kept going back and forth, playing around with it. If you guys have never done an ombre, or not an ombre, a marble nail, um, definitely go in with super runny beads because it's going to help you so much more 
especially with the colors blending together and it looking super effortless and super super nice and I did want to say I'm so sorry if I say um a lot sometimes it's literally um I think oh see I just said it again I was looking it up and it says that it's used as like a backup word or something like that I don't know if it's called a backup word but basically something where you're trying to collect your thoughts and you're trying to think about what you're saying and you need something like a quick word to fill in the gaps so that you have a second to think about the next thing you're going to say, if that makes any sense. So if you hear people saying, um, don't come for them. Like it literally is just something that people say when they're really nervous as well. Like I get super nervous still when I film or when I do a voiceover. And that's probably why I say it a lot too. I can literally tell because I get super nervous and everything. So yeah, if I say it, that's why. And I try to catch myself occasionally to not say it because it bugs me too. Like, trust me, sometimes when I'm editing. But I, like, I hear other people always saying, like, I'm so sorry I'm saying um a lot in this video. And, like, I literally don't even notice it. So I don't know if it's me being paranoid and you guys don't even listen. Like, you guys don't even hear it. But if you do, just please disregard it. And please just be patient with me. I'm trying to get used to it. Used to not saying it, basically. But anyway, I'm taking more of this color and kind of going back and forth. I also took a little bit more of that little clear, like glitter color. I love colors like that. If you guys also watched my videos already, then you know I love using colors like that as a topper on base colors because it's so pretty. Um, it get, just gives something extra to the nails and it looks really, really cute. So then what I'm going to be doing after this is I'm going to be going in with a layer of clear acrylic over every single nail something I did want to say I didn't try my absolute hardest on this set this isn't how I would do a set on a client or anything like that this is just how I did it for my like on my boyfriend's hand because he doesn't care he's not going to be wearing them and I didn't want to waste too much clear powder so I didn't build them up and I didn't build a nice apex or anything I just did it to show you guys how I normally do a set Okay, you guys, so next right here, I'm showing you guys how I score my files. So on the right side, I have my scoring file, which is the file I specifically save to score each nail file before I use it. So um, what I do is I kind of just run it across the sharp edges of the nail file that I'm going to be using on the person. And this ensures that you won't give them any small paper cuts and that the nail file will be a little bit dulled down by the time you use it um, on the client, just so that you don't um, cut anyone. Uh, it's happened to me before and you don't want it to happen. So basically, that's what I was saying right there. Right here, I was showing you guys, um, if you're a beginner, that you can take your acrylic brush, tap it on the nails, and as long as you hear a little clicking sound, you'll know that it's ready to go. I actually think that I'm going to unmute this part because I think I wanted to do like a little ASMR and show you guys what it's supposed to sound like. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty sure everyone like already knows that, but I just wanted to do it anyway, just in case someone doesn't already know. Um, if you listen to that little clip, you'll notice that some parts of the nail, you could hear like a really nice clicking sound. And when I would move down the nail, it would sound like almost nothing, like you wouldn't hear a sound or it would sound like it was hitting like something soft. That's how you know the acrylic isn't dry yet on certain parts. So what I did for the rest of the time was make sure that I waited for the nails to dry. And once I felt like they were ready, I went ahead and started filing. So again, this monomer is um, slow setting. So it was actually not all the way ready yet. But I did go ahead and just start filing. Um, again, boyfriend getting impatient. So I was just going ahead and filing. Oh, and I left that in because you guys can see right there. The nail literally popped off. He didn't even feel it. He didn't even know it came off until I told him. But yeah, so make sure that you're not putting too much um, top coat or too much cuticle oil. I put a tiny bit of cuticle oil and I glued it right back on. And um, then I went ahead and started filing again. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to keep in to just to show you guys that that can happen. And just to be like cautious of how much oil you use. So you guys might have noticed that I haven't used a drill. Um, I didn't use a drill because I wanted to show you guys how to do it with just a regular nail file. Like do your set with it. I think a big misconception is that you need a drill to like do your own nails or like do nails in general. You technically really don't. But if you want to do removals and stuff, a drill would help you because if you do a removal, if you've already done one, then you know they take forever. Um, a drill does come in handy for that and if your nails are super bumpy and stuff and you want to get rid of the lumps but I love using a nail file for that as well um, not for a removal but just for removing lumps from the nails because the nail file will go over the whole entire nail super smoothly and it'll just really help you out and make the whole top of the nail one um, really nice um, even what is it called a really nice even like platform I guess you can say and um basically I was just showing you here that I go around the cuticle area with the nail file super gently and it doesn't touch the skin at all and that's how I would seal a cuticle if I was using a normal nail file and also this can come in handy also if like your drill ever just breaks on you mid, like mid client you know what I mean you gotta just make it work so don't be scared of using a nail file it can definitely work for you Right here I'm showing you guys how to get this super nice shape. I go from the tip and this is how I file the tip of the nail and this really really helps. I also do the same thing with my press-ons. I file the tip of the nail. That's why the press-ons have a really nice shape as well. And what I do for the sides is I make sure that my nail file is super super straight. Do not let it like curve. Do not let it go at an angle. Hold it as straight to the nail as you can. You can see here it's literally pretty straight to the nail. Um, I'm right here I'm going over the nail to smooth it out. I really love doing that and yeah so basically I'm just trying to get all the like basically just trying to smooth everything out and once I'm done with this I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all the dust
So something that I like to do right before I completely like buff and make sure that the set is finished is I go in once more and measure the nails, make sure that they're all the same length. Um, I really like to do that at the very end because I file a lot and you never know. Sometimes things happen and you could file one nail more and you won't even realize it. And by the end, like by the time you're done with the set, you're like, damn, that finger is shorter than the other one. It happens a lot to me and it's something that I like to always make sure I check at the end just to make sure if I need to file all the rest of the nails again, then I'll do them, do it again, just to make sure that they're all the same length. So yeah, that's something that I like to do. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and start buffing all of the nails, getting off any excess little spiky parts or anything that's on the bottom. If you had a tiny little teeny bit of acrylic run over, usually I get it out with a buffer. If not, go ahead and go in with a file. It's just up to you. So what I like to do is I go ahead and go in with my dusting brush. I literally just use a random little foundation makeup brush that I've never used for my face. I got it in a set and just decided to use it for nails. And then I grab this little manicure brush. A lot of nail supplies sell them. I take a little bit of alcohol and I clean all the dust off and you can see how nice and clean they look. There's no dust in sight on the nails, which I absolutely love. And I always say this in every acrylic like nail video that I do. You don't want dust getting in your top coat. So that's a very important step that I love to do. And it just takes like a few seconds and it makes the biggest difference in the way your set can look. Um, right there I was just showing you guys I'm using my Zule's Bling Adhesive. And I'm going ahead and grabbing some random rhinestones that I already had sitting on my desk. And I'm going to be doing a super cute little design. I think in a second right here I'm going to zoom in for you guys a little bit. Just so that you can see a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure but... I do really really love how I just came up with this it looks like a little kind of like sun and moon vibe and it's so freaking cute okay yeah good thing I zoomed in because I couldn't really see so I did go in with like that little sun and then the little moon charm um I cannot tell you guys where I got this from I have no idea I literally don't remember but I've had them forever and I've never gotten I've never got a chance to really use them at all so yeah I've had these for a super long time and what I'm doing is I'm just taking little tiny rhinestones and filling in the sides and the gaps. I have a lot of people always ask me how I figure out my stone placement. And my biggest thing is like filling in the little gaps. It makes the biggest difference and it looks super, super cute. If you really like look at it, you can't even tell that they're really there. But it just makes your stone placement look like a thousand times better. So I'm taking a bunch of random stones. Some of these are Solvarsky, some aren't. Um, I already know I don't say that right, but... It is what it is. So basically, I'm just doing this. And then when I'm done, I'm going to leave all the other nails just simple. Just so that this one can stand out. And I'm going to be going in with my top coat. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to come in and say really quickly that I do top coat on top of my nail charms. These little gold ones will rust most of the time, so you do want to make sure that you top coat them to avoid, basically avoid getting any damage to them. And basically, it'll kind of like act as a barrier so they don't also get scratched and things like that. Or change colors with water or any like cleaning products or chemicals that you use. I really love doing that, and I also wanted to say you guys might have saw this little can thing that I sprayed on my like nail that I did the bling on that's just my nail glue activator it's what I use with my Zule's bling adhesive and I absolutely love using that because it makes your stones dry on contact if you just wait a few seconds they'll be completely dry and then what I do after that is just take a little alcohol wipe and wipe them down so that you can top coat them 
um, don't ever top coat like directly after spraying because you can ruin your top coat like that. And basically now they're in the lamp. So I am going ahead with cuticle oil and I'm rubbing that all over just to make sure that the cuticles are really nice and moisturized but also that the nail pictures come out cute. If your cuticles are moisturized in your nail pictures then you know your nail pictures are going to be bomb. So this is what the set ended up looking like. It's so so cute. Like I am obsessed with it. I was literally just like obsessed. I was trying to get the perfect angle here. I was like yelling at my boyfriend. I was like no you put your hand like this. Like why are your fingers going that way? And it was so freaking funny because he literally can't control his fingers going like that. But anyways yeah it turned out super cute. And I absolutely love it. I have a lot more acrylic nail videos and tutorials coming for you guys. I know a lot of people always ask me if I'm even a nail tech. Like do I even do acrylic because I always do gel. But my answer is I love doing both acrylic and gel. And I also make press-ons. So a gel is a big part of my like thing too. So I really love doing both things. And I love hand painting stuff. But anyways this is how they turned out. They're so cute. I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like. Let me know what you think down below. And yeah, I hope you love it. Again, this kit is only $26. I really love it. Really recommend it. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I'm sorry for being so chatty and talkative today. But yeah, like I said, I do have some more videos coming for you guys that are super cool. So don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I love you guys and have a great day. Bye.